Hello everyone, welcome back to Altria's Plays with a sore throat and a croaky voice. We're playing Cavopolis and I wanted to record today because I've spent a lot of time making a lot of changes. Let me show you what's happened. Here is the result of the secret project. And it's not even finished, I have to be honest. <laughs> this is only the first half of it. So this, from there to there, is how far a piece of TNT will fall and explode um, I still get something, right? So <laughs> all of this was done by means of dropping TNT from up there using the contraption that I showed in the stream. I know I said in the last episode that I would probably record some of this and show you the process, but actually it was really boring. Um, and I did it in front of the TV whilst watching telly uh, on my laptop rather than recording it. Um, it. It wasn't that entertaining. There was a few mishaps where a piece of TNT would go flying and make extra dents in the side, but this is, the, this is what I was going for, this sort of random exploded corner um corner edge face the walls being all jiggledy like this and it took me a lot look at this look at how many times i have died this is not it <laughs> i don't know what those were those these are deaths from the nether area where the blazes keep getting me these were the deaths from the wither and all of this was the deaths of me falling off trying to build this area. So I exploded the edges <clears throat> and then dug out the middle with a vein miner and a ridiculous amount of netherite picks. I probably in future will just explode the whole lot. Um, but you can see sacrifices were made. This is the only thing that remains of the trees. You can see the, the end of tank there making the, the tree resin. Um, this would have been the farm. The farm got got uh, by first this torrent of bombs and then me dig it out because uh, it was in the way and the the farm i've moved the farm i've put some because i need a lot of food you need a lot of food to do all that vein mining so i've made a small farm there which has kept me going and the animals are still spawning they're still spawning on that thing and that was the third tree that we built do you remember when i accidentally bone mealed uh, the ground instead of uh, i bone mealed the 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 moss instead of the tree and so that was that chamber. <laughs> um, that's the only thing that survived the whole ordeal. And that's why I didn't do the bombing uh, in that area because I didn't want to get all of that. Uh, everything else has gone away. In fact, there's a spare thing there. And uh, obviously this is not finished. There's more to do. Um, I'm going to be building some bridges out. I'm going to be building some platforms. But this means finally there is room to build a reactor. <laughs> that's what this was all about. And that's why this area is called power because this is where the power is going to be and that is where in fact power is currently beginning so let's get on with that um on the stream what you missed we started off on some mechanism we did this whole area like this by the way this is going to be one of those videos where i just keep going maybe pause it once or twice to cut some things out but i'm probably not going to edit this down because i'm recording this basically as late as possible um <clears throat> we went to the end let me show you the end it's flat as you will see by how we go up here and it'll be flat um, is it quiet? Oh. <laughs> the, 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 the. Hmm. So it turns out this thing is hugely OP and you can just teleport across dimensions. <laughs> you don't need the end portal anymore. Um, turn this off. There we go. Um, and it, it produces obsidian wherever it lands, which is funny because it actually intersected the home portal in the end. We beat the ender dragon. That was part of the quest line. Uh, don't don't look there, or the Enderman will look at you when you do it. We end, we did this whole up we go quest line, so we now have an upgrade extractor, uh, an extractor upgrade at tier four. We got the end crystal. The end crystal was easy because you can make it with the um, better mob farms, the hostile mobs. Neuranonite is where we are now. This is the um, this is the react quest. So we'll do this today. Uh, we managed to finish Ender Ore, which was a little bit of mechanism. We've done mechanism many times in the past. It's not that massive of an interesting thing to get into but next up of course is Certus. it is a block of diamond and a block of gold thank you for asking in the comments that is correct that's how this works um, and then we'll be on to digital storage after that which i'm looking forward to and then uh there's uh, leaving the cave is going to be the everything combiner apparently and uh, space so we're nearly there <clears throat> in terms of the quests we're not nearly there in terms of um the project so the project let me continue telling you about it is uh, Actually, let me show you. There's an HQ. And on the stream, you'll, uh, if you were there, you saw, I was in many minds, not just two minds, about where HQ should be. And I ended up deciding that I'll put it here above the corridor that runs from the home 
uh, where the farm is now. <laughs> this is right down there. Here's me aiming as if it's over here. It's right down there. The corridor that's three by three with power in it. Uh, and just above the end portal there. Uh, and then I just dug in that direction an arbitrary amount. You can see there there's a column where I hadn't really counted how far I'd gone. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered doing anymore, so I just dug from there to there. Um, and this is the first wave. This is the first stage. Uh, next stage, we have to go down even further, but there are challenges that we must face. And I may do those things on stream. We're going to have to get through the water layer. Now, water was a great boon for this build because, you know, you pung a bit of water down here and you can climb down um, and you can climb back up it again. So that's how I lit all the sides. The sides are completely lit with brightstone, by the way. Um, but it's a somewhat of a, of a pain because if TNT lands in water, it has absolutely no effect whatsoever. So, you know, live and learn. Um, uh, uh, swings and roundabouts, all that sort of thing. Let's get on with some quests. Okay, so the first set of quests are these things, all made in the energizing orb. We're going to need some blaze rods or blaze powder, some diamond presumably emerald. One more thing being a nether star, two blocks of redstone, and a block of blazing crystal. This escalated quickly. You do get 16 of those. It's 20 million FE. But look, each of those is connected to the next level of reactor, right? So we're not going to need to worry about the nitro crystal until we're probably producing a good million FE anyway. So these will these will follow on from themselves. So let's start with the starter reactor. Well, how do we make this? Uh, is uranite? Have we got? Can we just? Let's just ask for it. Um, so we're going to go this, and then this, and then this, and then this, and then boop, and request yes. <clears throat> Done. Right. So how does this work? I'm going to go and read the book, which I said I would do, and then I didn't do. So uh, well done me. <laughs> um, I'm going to do it off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay. So we're going to build a multi-block structure. It says we need 36 reactor blocks. I'm guessing that it's not just, maybe it's just reactor blocks. How many did we start with? We just made four. So let's make however many more of those we need. That's going to be 32, which is going to be another eight of these recipes. One, nope. I thought we made this. What are you talking about? Basic capacitor. What is this then? Did we not teach you this? I guess not. All right, let's do that. Um, so, here we go down. Thank you. Uh, we're going to be making this, which is this. So this is the main thing. Uh, dielectric paste. We're just going to have to supply it because I can't be bothered automating the induction smelter. Block of redstone is done easily. So let's. That was how many now? <laughs> one, two. That was three ingredients. So we're going to need. You want a medium one? Uh, this, this, this. Why have they got a swastika in the middle, by the way? We're going to need at least two of those. Uh, I mean, you have to wait for this. So these are actually currently full. Well, they're not currently full, which is great. Um, I've been processing sand. Uh, I've been processing this stuff to get sand and then uh, gravel. Well, gravel and then sand, because uh, that's how you make concrete. So I wanted more gravel. Because we're going to want to make concrete. Because I don't want this whole place to look like that, you know, jaggedy wall job with all the rainbow stuff. That's cool for the pit itself. Do you know what would be really good is if we had uh, the mega torch, which is not. Is it the mega torch? Uh, it, it might be, but you don't have it. Because <clears throat> the mega torch will prevent mob spawns, but don't require you to light the area. Which means that you could have a mega torch in the middle of the, you know, the, the, the pit somewhere bang in the middle and it will prevent mob spawns around it and therefore stop the mob spawning on the edge of the pit which is why it's lit up in the first place because um the, the, most of my deaths were caused by um skeletons shooting me off uh have you got him? yes so it should let you do yeah so this is what we want and it's gonna be um this and then you're going to learn the same recipe. Do, do. See, I'm tempted actually to tell it <clears throat> that this one 
What else can I use this for? An energy cell. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to use any of this stuff. There's the energizing rod basic, so I guess it is useful to some extent. Yeah. Um, let's just do that. And then I'm actually going to just ask for the basic capacitors and turn them into the thing manually. Let's do that. Uh, let's craft them. <clears throat> One thing I do want to do as well is just because a long time ago I was like, oh, a laser IO is in this mod pack. And we haven't even mentioned it since, let alone looked at it. And we can do it now, I think. Um, the one thing that we're going to need, though, is to be able to craft the stuff. And this is all made by, you know, cooking this and making that. So we can make a bunch of these things, right? This seems easy. So if we did, like... <laughs> You're making clay? Oh, no. Is this just completely broken? Have you made them? Why have you got four of those and two of those? That is not the recipe. It's four of those and two of those. How did you do that? Did I ask for two sets of that? I did. So why have you sent not all of it? Is it does something in here use? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? This has used six iron bars. It sent eight. There's two left. It can't do it. Ah! <laughs> I hate I, I, I hate this because my brain can't wrap itself around it. I'm just going to be doing that all the time, making that mistake over and over again. Um, I, I kind of don't care at this point. Let's just, yeah, give me all of that. Cancel that. Um, bring all this out. I don't want it. Uh, go away. Look, we got all, look, how many have we got? A ridiculous amount. So you get in there, you get in there, and then you, oh, it's slow. That's going to be far too many, but that's fine. We like far too many because it means I don't forget or go, oh, I've run out. Now, <clears throat> give me those. Thank you. Just make some more. There you go. You did it yourself. <laughs> Good job. You ran a night not found. Oh, what's this made of? Are we sure we're not? Oh, we have to make that. All right, let's sort that out. How many do I need? I think 16 is enough, actually. Uh, go home. What did I put away? I don't know. <laughs> was I using that? I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's 16. I'm going to need that another four times, which is going to be another 16 of those. I can't count. So the best thing, the best way of using the eight slots in one of those things is really to... Um, To make multiple things in the same go, like to have a chain of things where you put the initial recipe items in and it just creates the things it needs. But again, if there's a subset, <clears throat> it's going to create them in the wrong order. Hello? Capacitator. <laughs> That's brilliant. Ta da! 36. Right, let's figure out where we're going to put a reactor. Now that you've seen it, these can go. I didn't want to pretend that I was better than I am. Oh, it's doing it for me. Amazing. Also, I didn't know it was going to go there, <laughs> or I would have moved it. Hooray, reactor. Right, this needs water. And it needs uranium or uraninite. Uraninite, I think. Which is a problem. It does use uraninite as a main fuel, which is pesky because you have to then automate that. Right? I think we can probably automate it fairly easily just by having that set up specifically for uraninite, but we'd have to export uranium to it. A lot of these are going to start breaking. <laughs> it's going to be very scary. Luckily, I have just about missed the locations where I put the individual steps. Like, um, if I went to Moss, 
for example. Do I even bother with a moss one? Yeah. Which is here. So even if I destroy down there, at least like this three by three here should be fine. Do, do. Do. Yeah. This goes here. The water. And you, that was either really quickly or uh, it was already happening. Yourself. Off or extract. So there's no input specifically. Let's go and get that and this. And then let's make more of those. Because that makes four of those. So you might as well make four of those. One, two, three, four. So there's, there's nine of these maps, I think. Oh, what? Do I need to put you on? What? Why didn't you work? To be fair, oh, I don't need this. Because <laughs> I want two, three. Can I put this on here now? You can place it on mechanisms pipes, although it looks weird. Uh, but you can't place it on energy pipes, which is silly. But there you go. Can't win them all. Um, I've only got eight of those, but that's all right, because that's more than enough for my purposes, I think. Boop. Sorted. So we should be able to get <clears throat> uranium in somehow and uh, uraninite out. Right, let's put this here to make it a little bit easier. <coughs> oh. <clears throat> oh. No. Nope. Yep. So then, if I just like bung this in here, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that seems to work. I'm gonna do one at a time. <clears throat> this is probably why Direwolf use laser IO to automate this. <laughs> you know, you can't just put all of the materials in and expect it to work. Um, but your laser IO setup can tell if there's something in there and prevent something going in as a result of that. So the other things you can put in here, according to this, are coal and redstone. Not no. <clears throat> if you put coal in then or a carbon material you'll improve the fuel efficiency and add heat a lot of heat if you use redstone it'll speed up the production and the fuel consumption and produce more heat so <clears throat> with coal you get more out of your uraninite and with redstone it produces more than 120 fe per tick 120 that's not very much but that's fine um let's uh, move on with our quests so basic reactor See, now we pull it down. <laughs> Let's make sure we've got all of these parts because we're going to need... This turns four into four, right? So we're going to have to lose all of this power. I think we should store it. We should do our best to store it. This should be full as right now. It is full as. Which means we could probably turn this on, actually. What have you got? A spider. Should we try it? So look at this. That's keeping up. That was draining like a heckin' hecker. Remember that draining? Now, no such issue. I am surprised that these are producing enough power for that to not be running out. I'll just say like 80 FE per tick, actually. Let's try to put in... Do that, and then... What side is that? I don't know. <laughs> Over in the back. It's filling up. And you are 
doing nothing. Give me shelter boxes. How about now? Again, this is going. This is doing 8,000 FE per tick. This is doing 2,000 FE per tick. And this says it needs 2,048. Really? Okay, I'll let you off. <laughs> You're hardened. Let's make you reinforced. I forget this about the new thermal. You only need one. So if I put this in here, can I take this out? Yeah. Does that change anything? No. So you're filling up, and you're well. <laughs> not doing anything. I can make shulker boxes now, though, probably. Which is good, actually. I'm sick of having. To, <laughs> I'm sick of not having my stuff. So give me all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Why not? And that. Yep. And all these. Oh, they're so useful. And now they're in a box, which I can bring with me. How are you doing? There's four left in here. Yeah. And the, the water's fine? The water's fine. So you're you're not warm. You're not keeping up <laughs> at all. So let's uh prepare the next part of this for upgrading to a basic. So the hard and the, the basic reactor here is a basic capacitor large, which is two basic capacitors. So now we need two of those, eight of those for four of those, and we're making eight, nine of these. We basically need 36 of these, right? <laughs> because we're making 36 of these, which is 72 of these. You turn into you like that. You can take those and those. And then just go and take the reactor apart and see what happens. Run program reactor. Honestly, we don't need this reactor to be running at the moment because it's not doing anything of particular value. Like we don't need that much power. We will be needing that much power very soon. In fact, we started doing stuff that needs a lot of power. But for now, the things that we've got are almost suitable up there, um, but being prepared for a big power draw is going to be very helpful. Because uh, then I think the next one might be hard. <laughs> Hardened. So the hardened capacitor, which is a basic capacitor and a lot of energized steel. And energized steel is, right, so now we're getting to the point where it's going to be useful to have the reactor because we want to, I'm going to want to make another one of this setup as well because I want this one just to do the reactor uh, uraninite. So let's do this. There we go. So you have that. Whoa, now you're doing 500 Fe per tick, you're fine. So as it heats up, it produces less, apparently. So you could use different coolants, and you can also use solid coolants. That's the other thing they said. You can put solid coolants in here, um, but you have to have a liquid coolant as well. So if you could somehow produce snow, can we produce snow? Snowball, blast chiller with a ball cast. That seems like a thing. We do a blast chiller, right? Blast chiller, brilliant. So you, with a bit of power, which we can do because of how there is power. 
right by the <laughs> right by the reactor. That's the thing. So you should have you're making snow. Nice. Let's see about this ball cast. Because I might also then want to make a <clears throat> another multi servo press with a packing die in it, so that I can turn it into snow blocks. Well, so is you snow. Let's just try snow. What? <laughs> okay. So what? Wait, what? First of all, what? Second of all, what? So, do you get hot? Do you need this? You might need this. Um, but if we do this again and then this, that'll just keep outputting. You don't have to put it. You don't need these. These ports. They don't mean anything. Ah! <coughs> Why did you make me go up there? So upset. See, that's draining a lot of power, you see. Just that. And we're going to want to do another one of this setup and put a whole bunch of stuff in it. Oh, look. It's using it really. Oh, look at that. It's actually doing it a lot now. Look how fast it's going. 500, because this is cooling it down. Brilliant. All right, let's do a little bit of laser IO and then call it there. And we'll, we can work on this in the stream uh, and in between episodes. You've seen that, right? Next thing I'm going to do is go through all of these. Uh, as much as I can. But what we want to do is we want to do a little bit of laser I.O. Because that is going to be <laughs> a huge help. Um, so we want maybe, let's just make, so six of these. And then the other thing that we're going to want is a whole bunch of cards. Okay. Now each card costs a chip. So that's why I made so many. Um, we want an item card, a few item cards. So let's do like 10. There's also a card holder, I think. Uh, where are you? Yeah, you. And I think if you just shift right click, then it sucks up all the cards in your inventory and it will continue to do that as long as I put a card in my inventory. Um, so anytime I create one of these, it would just work. Energy card not necessary at the moment. Now, a filter. Let's make a filter. We get four. That's brilliant. Actually, I think we want a counting filter. Yeah, maybe we do. Let's do that. Um, you go in there. Right. Um, let's put this together. See how we can make it work. So this is going to represent a better thing at some point. Um, I would like a, a way of exporting the uranium into here. For now, I will put uranium in here. We can also use a laser lit. Right, laser IO. Woo! So, right click, boom. So the side you clicked on is the side you're looking at. We're going to put an item card in here, and then we're going to right click it. And we're going to go, hey, I'm going to get you to insert the uranium. <laughs> you need a filter, right? So you put the filter in, boop, and then you say uranium, boop. So now you can only assert uranium and you can do it into that. The other thing we want to do is put an item card, not an up, another item card, but this one's going to do a special thing called a sensor, right? And it's going to go, oh, it's a sneaky sided thing. You can do that. What does that do? If you put a I think this is correct. If you put a counting sensor in here and you say redstone channel zero, right? Let's get a, well, let's just do this. Uh, right click this, redstone high. So this is off because this is not doing a redstone signal. If I put this in here, does this do what I think it does? Yes, see how that turned on whilst that was in there? Perfect. So this, when there is one uranium ingot in there, oh, I took it out. <laughs> when there is one uranium ingot that it can see, because it's a seeing card, uh, and I think you click on it, you can go up, right? So I can say the other two, other three, other four. If there is exactly one uranium ingot in there, it will send a redstone signal on the white channel. The other one that I put in <clears throat> requires a high redstone signal on the white channel. If I set a low redstone signal on the white channel, this remains on what am I I was confusing myself yeah so a low redstone signal on this channel means that this is not outputting a redstone signal so this laser laser here cannot see 
one uranium ingot in there, which means this is allowed to work. If I put uranium in here now, this switches off, and this switches back on again. Now, you need to be faster, but you can't go faster. Fine. Um, you can overclock these cards, but you need to make sure that, first of all, this needs to check first. This will happen in order. So the first thing that's going to happen on each processing cycle is going to see if there's an, uh, an item in there. It's going to emit the redstone signal and then it's going to try and insert something. Now this is going to only insert something if it can. I thought it was a can. <laughs> it's not a can. On this one, the other side, let's do an item card which is going to extract. See that? As long as there is only one in there, this is allowed to work. It seems to be working anyway. <laughs> Why are you turning? Oh, right. This one is turning off whenever it's not allowed to put a thing in it. As it happens, this is going faster than these can extract. So it, it, I think it's just doing one a second, right? So this takes as long as it takes. This is now full, but look. This can't put ah, actually. This can't put the uranium in because there is something else in there. You, you just can't put uranium in whilst that's in there, which is fine. So as soon as this uses one, that's going to get sucked out or two, uh, and there's going to be room for it. But if there was already one uranium in there, this is going to think that it can put a uranium in there, and it's going to try and do so, and it will work because. You can stack them. We've tried it, and then there'll be two in there, and it will break because even though you can put more than one in there, you can't put more than one in there. It's silly. So this setup here means that while there's one in there, we can overclock this so it goes as fast as possible. As soon as that one disappears, it puts another one in. So this is slightly more complicated than it turned out to need to be. But on the other hand, it worked really well, and that was really easy. And that's just a single node setup. You can link these nodes together. I should probably make a laser wrench, but I'll do that some other time. So this is basically self-sufficient. This is powering nodes because of the flux plug. Now this is actually um, plugged into the battery that I just reinforced upstairs, which is where all that power's going. So all the power that comes out, <coughs> no, it's not. Everything is sharing the same network. So it's all going into the network. It's filling up the battery, which is allowing power to go into the network. It's What we should then do, actually, this would make some sense, wouldn't it? Uh, let's. You should be a higher priority, right? So now you are going to be the first thing that gives power to the network. And then if this runs out or I've taken it down, then the battery can work, right? That means that battery will be full all the time. That's a much better idea. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> this was a bit of a croaky voice and um, hodgepodge episode, but we've got some cool stuff done. We've got a reactor at last, so now we can start expanding this sort of situation. And I can do this um, with multiple things if I want to do. I like the idea of having multiple of these. Oops, there you go, it's done it. Um, but I'm not sure that's, it's not necessary. You can use a single setup to automate so that whatever you put in there gets turned into the resulting thing. But I like having big. I like go big or go home sort of job. Hey, <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. So thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. I hope that you are on board with my make a big pit in the world. Remember, this is just Stage one, we're going to go deeper. We have to go deeper. We're going to go all the way to bedrock, and we're going to try and figure out how to do that on stream. On stream, I'm also going to do some more of these things, so I hope that you'll join me then. It's going to be the same time as usual, half past seven on Tuesday evening. Be there or be somewhere else because you've got better things to do. I don't mind. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you.